Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into more of my babies, the boys of SB19, and the next track off of their Patatag EP, um, Liham. And this, along with Ilao, were the two that you guys were like, hey, 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 hey react to this because I think you'll really, really like it. Hey, I think you'll really, really like it. And Ilao was beautiful, such absolutely gorgeous, heartbreaking. The lyrics, the vocals, the production, everything about it was absolutely stunning. And I was like, I'm not sure if this is my favorite SB19 song in the world because Hong Gang Sahuli is still a contender, but it might be my favorite on this EP for sure. And you guys were like, hey, 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 don't say just yet because Liham is a contender as well. So. We, we, we're going to dive into Liham and see what other magic these boys have created. Hindi 
tayo nakita Ang buhay ko ay Sustain this phrase! Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I just want to take it back to this one. Well, I want, I want to listen to the whole thing over again. But I want to take it back just to that last little run there because, like, I want to see how long. Because I'm pretty sure that was all done on one breath and it was terribly impressive. Yes, that was all one breath. Now, let me count how long it was. So about 13 seconds. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. So that last riff belting little bit there. About 13 seconds all in one breath. And like there's so many reasons why it's impressive for me. Not just the duration of it, but it's the duration in combination with the vocal intensity and the precision of the riffs and runs and all that kind of stuff. So it's like, it's not like I'm just uh, King Munda and like just keeping it soft or solid. Like if I were just near sustaining this note, not moving at all, that's one thing. That's once you kind of lock that note in, it's kind of easy just to sit there as long as you got a good enough breath beforehand. Um, but it's not like he was just sitting there kind of just like, half-assing it or giving like just a little bit of volume like ah, King Munda. like no he was full-on belting his face off upper parts of his range he is pushing that out and then he is riffing all over the place running like it makes me think of one clip of Mariah Carey I think when she was in the studio recording um underneath the stars maybe um where she just like took this one breath did this insane run and it just kept going kept going and straight into a belt straight into another belt straight into another run and at the end she's just like <sighs> and then she had to sit down because I'm like girl <laughs> girl you did the most with that one same thing here where it's like oh my god the vocal was just so damn impressive <sighs> This is another one where it's heavily emotional, 
heavily emotional. You could hear the emotion in their voices while they were recording this. There's so much emotion being poured out of them in these last two tracks that um, we've reacted to on the channel, where it's just absolutely gorgeous. Different kind of emotion, where um, um, Ilao was a little bit more of a searching or longing for understanding and someone to to listen and you know seeking that sort of like hey why where's why is no one on my side that kind of thing this was a little a different emotion it's felt very loving and um caring and like like an expression of what do i want to say it feels like an expression of I don't know, just love, just like a declaration, declaration of love. And it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, like I saw down in the comment section, there were a couple of people who were like, I think I just found my new wedding song. Or this is absolutely, like the same. It's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's filled with so many nostalgic memories. Like it just, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Another gorgeously written song. Lyrics are absolutely beautiful. And the vocals, the vocals were so, from every one of them, every person who sang on this track was out here giving a vocal, just emotionally vocal delivery. It was gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Every one of them had just moments where their voices shone and it was just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then the musical production on this, it felt like such a cinematic masterpiece. Like it felt like something that I could, if I was shutting my eyes, if I wasn't looking at, you know, the lyric video or whatnot, I could very much see this being in the soundtrack for a movie. I could see the big, and if it wasn't in the movie, I could see it in the soundtrack for the trailer of a big romantic movie. And this is like one of those just like big love declaration montage. It's like, you, I don't, I can't think of a particular movie that I want, but like, okay, we're being separated for whatever reason, and, you know, I'm deciding, no, you know what, I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave the country. I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna go get my man. I'm gonna stay. Run. Run across the forest to him, and I can just see them running through the field, running through the rain, running through the airport, like, whatever it is, just to go find that person. Like, it just had this big, grandiose, cinematic sound to it to the production especially once we started getting to those last couple of choruses just the way it, the music was building and then their voices almost sounded had this choral quality to it so it sounded like they had a choir singing these background vocals and it was beautiful absolutely beautiful oh god i love love what they are doing production wise with the music on this EP. I know you guys have told me that um, with this EP, they, they're self-produced now. And I love the direction they're going. I love that in the years that they've been performing and making music, that they've learned so much about their craft that they are able to self-produce to this level because it is just absolutely stunning music that they're making. This and Ilao are just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, still doesn't dethrone Hong Kong Sahuli. Hong Kong Sahuli has been holding on to that top spot in my, in my brain with a vengeance for years at this point. I don't know if they're ever going to make something that's going to dethrone that song, but these songs are absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know if I like this one more than I did Ilao, because they give me two different kinds of emotional feelings. Um, but they're both absolutely stunning. I think once I'm, because we only have one track left um, to react to on this, so I think once I'm done with reacting to this EP, I'll go back through, give it another listen completely through on my own, and maybe do like a ranking video. If you guys are interested in that, you guys can let me know. Um, but just ranking the tracks for my own personal taste, and at that point, I'll have to decide whether Liham or Ilao are in my top spot. Um, but I still have one more that I gotta listen to, so who knows, maybe that'll be in my top spot gotta wait and see but i absolutely love this song i love the sentiment of the song love i love how much all of their vocals have been improving um and it's something i've talked about um 
ever since they went on their first leg of their world war t- uh, world tour last year um and you guys are telling me like they've been working with vocal coaches and this that and the other and it's like it just shows you can hear the growth in their voices and like josh is one who i know from the beginning his has been kind of self-conscious a little bit about his voice or may not have been always the most confident in his vocal abilities and i've heard the improvement in him over the years and it, it just makes me so proud to to hear him all of them are fantastic all of them are fantastic but like if we're looking at like a most improved award like he's he he is just doing so damn well he's doing so damn well um and all of them are just improving which is hard to do because they were fantastic before anyway um but i love love seeing the growth in them and it just makes me more excited for things to come so yeah, you guys can expect the final reactions um, to the final track sometime tomorrow. And then, I don't know, maybe sometime next week I'll put out the ranking video. You guys, can, again, you guys let me know if that's something you're interested in um, or if you have input on that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.